are doing fish printing today and we have some rubber fish and some live fish. We are using acrylic paint with this group, but with the smaller kids we use tempera paint. We are going to do a kind of artwork today that was invented in Japan about 200 years ago. And it's called Ryotaku. Can you say that? Ryotaku. We get to learn about the fish and make something beautiful at the same time. Does anybody know where the gills might be on this fish? I do. Yes. Do you want to come up and point to where you think it is? I guess. Okay. By printing the fish and looking at it very carefully, you're going to learn more about the fish and what it looks like. I am going to demonstrate one fish print and show you how it's done and then let you do your own fish. The other fish that we have are rubber fish, and we have all different kinds. We have sunfish, perch, we have a salmon. So I'm gonna paint right on the fish, and I'm gonna choose what color to start with. This paintbrush is now the green paintbrush. And if somebody else wants to use green, they use that paintbrush. I am going to take the paper, and I'm going to lay it down right on the fish, and not move it. I am going to use my fingers very gently and go from the middle all the way to the end of the fish. You can kind of see the paint coming through a little bit. Then I'm going to peel it off. Voila! Get a smock and then find a spot to sit by the newspapers. There's two salmon. Why do you think that the Japanese fishermen would have started doing this kind of fish printing where they put ink on their fish and put it on paper. To learn about the fish. And just like you're going to do today is by printing the fish and looking at it very carefully, you're going to learn more about the fish and what it looks like. When you're done with your fish print and you've written your name, you can bring it over and an instructor will help you clip it to the cables over there. And then you come right back to your spot, you take your fish over to the sink and you wash it off with a little bit of soap and water. And then dry it off. I, I really like this one, Sienna too, because it's like they're just the same. It's, and you can really see the top one scale. Why did you pick that? I don't like it because I've seen one of those fish in real life before. You've seen one in real life and this reminds you of it with the difference with the spines on the fins? I love it. Cool! Well, thank you guys so much for coming to the art studio and making some art with us today and you all were amazing. Hope you guys enjoyed.